All right, what's going on, guys? It's Epoxy, and Microsoft just announced that they've made a deal to acquire all of ZeniMax for $7.5 billion in cash. That means Bethesda Game Studios, id Software, ZeniMax Online Studios, Arcane Studios, Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog Games, and Roundhouse Studios all just joined Team Xbox. That also means Microsoft now holds the rights to all of the ZeniMax and Bethesda held IPs, which includes The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored, The Evil Within, Prey, Rage, Quake, Starfield, and many more. This is a massive, mind-blowing acquisition for the games industry and means a lot for the future of these games and Microsoft, and we have a lot to talk about, including statements from Phil Spencer, Pete Hines, and even God Howard himself. So with that said, let's roll the intro. Let's begin with the post by Phil Spencer, head of Xbox on Microsoft Xbox Wire. Today is a special day, as we welcome some of the most accomplished studios in the games industry to Xbox. We are thrilled to announce Microsoft has entered into an agreement to acquire ZeniMax Media, parent company of Bethesda Softworks. As one of the largest, most critically acclaimed, privately held game developers and publishers in the world, Bethesda is an incredibly talented group of 2,300 people worldwide, who make up some of the most accomplished creative studios in our industry across Bethesda Softworks, Bethesda Game Studios, id Software, ZeniMax Online Studios, Arcane, Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roundhouse Studios. These are the teams responsible for franchises like The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored, Prey, Quake, Starfield, and many more. Bethesda's games have always had a special place on Xbox and in the hearts of millions of gamers around the world. Our teams have a close and storied history working together, from the amazing first Doom and its id Tech engine, innovating games on PCs, to Bethesda bringing their first console game to the original Xbox, the groundbreaking The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Over the years, I've had many deep conversations with the creative leaders at Bethesda on the future of gaming, and we've long shared similar visions for the opportunities for creators and their games to reach more players in more ways. Just as they took the bold first step to bring the Elder Scrolls franchise to the original Xbox, Bethesda were early supporters of Xbox Game Pass, bringing their games to new audiences across devices and have been actively investing in new gaming technology like cloud streaming of games. We will be adding Bethesda's iconic franchises to Xbox Game Pass for console, and PC. One of the things that has me most excited is seeing the roadmap with Bethesda's future games, some announced and many unannounced, to Xbox console and PC, including Starfield, the highly anticipated new space epic currently in development by Bethesda Game Studios. Like us, Bethesda are passionate believers in building a diverse array of creative experiences, in exploring new game franchises, and in telling stories in bold ways. All of their great work will of course continue and grow and we look forward to empowering them with the resources and supports of Microsoft to scale their creative visions to more players in new ways for you. All of our work and the foundation of our relationship with you starts with a commitment to deliver a breadth of amazing games, starts with a commitment to deliver a breadth of amazing games to discover and play on Xbox. Over the last few weeks, we've been excited to share more detail on important elements of a plan we've been building towards for years. A plan that is the fulfillment of a promise to you, the Xbox player, to deliver the most performant, immersive, and compatible next-generation gaming experiences and the freedom to play blockbuster games with your friends anytime, anywhere. Today is a landmark step in our journey together, and I'm incredibly energized by what this step means for Xbox. Please join me in welcoming all of our friends at Bethesda to Team Xbox. So Xbox is clearly making a ginormous push in gaming with this major acquisition. They went from 15 to 23 studios with this acquisition alone. And adding the entire Bethesda library to Xbox Game Pass on both Xbox and PC is insane, especially following the addition of EA Play on the service. And say what you will about Bethesda, but their developers and IPs are top notch in the industry and have only been tarnished by poor management and lack of resources. Not only will these studios have access to the resources of Microsoft Xbox, but other Xbox studios will also now have the potential of working on these franchises as well. For example, another spin-off followed game from Obsidian. 
as for those of you that don't know, Microsoft did acquire them back in 2018. In fact, Obsidian has already responded to someone on Twitter asking if this means that Fallout New Vegas 2 could now be a reality. This also opens up more resources for the potential of something like a Fallout 3 or New Vegas remakes, which people have been desperately begging for over the years. There is so much exciting potential with Microsoft holding the rights to all these franchises and providing resources to these studios filled with a ton of amazing talent, and we might find finally be in the days where we don't have to wait almost a decade between Fallout and Elder Scrolls games, both because of the extra resources that Bethesda Game Studios will have and other Xbox studios having the potential of taking a swing at a spin-off in the franchises. Now we also got a statement from Todd Howard himself. I've been incredibly blessed to spend my entire career at and help build one of the best places to make games in the world, Bethesda. And I've had the joy of doing it with some of the most talented, humble, and passionate people there are. They are a part of my family and my good friends. I have also had the pleasure of working with and partnering with many of the best gaming and tech companies in the world. But our longest and closest partner during my career has been Microsoft. Today we joined them and I wanted to share some personal thoughts on what it means and our shared vision. The trajectory of Xbox and the trajectory of Bethesda in many ways have gone hand in hand. From our beginning, we had primarily been a PC developer. In 1999, two things happened. One, Bethesda became part of a brand new startup, ZeniMax Media, and Microsoft started development of their first video game console, the Xbox. I can remember my first trip to Redmond to discuss the new system and bringing our next game, Morrowind, to the Xbox. I was dubious Xbox Morrowind would be worth the time, somewhat on a technical level, but more so from taking a hardcore RPG and moving it from a PC desktop experience to a controller and sofa experience. If we made it work, would people want it? Microsoft and their new Xbox crew had a view that I came to share completely. Shouldn't we allow anyone to have this experience? Why does it matter where the screen is or what the controller is? There are many people without the same access, and we can bring it to them. Morrowind would go on to become one of the best-selling Xbox games of all time, behind Halo, another PC-style game some said wouldn't work. Its success paved the way for the growth of our company and proved the point. People wanted this experience regardless of device. Microsoft quickly let us in on their next system the Xbox 360. More than a PC port, our aim with our next game, Oblivion, was to usher in the next generation of gaming. With each game, from Fallout 3 to Skyrim, our studio and company grew, adding brilliant and like-minded studios across the globe, all of us sharing in the belief that expanding the reach of gaming was fundamental, whether it was on a PC, console, your phone, or the cloud. With each new console cycle, we evolved together. From bringing mods to console with Fallout 4, now over a billion downloads, to the latest technologies fueling Xbox Series X and S. These new systems are optimized for the vast worlds we love to create, with generational leaps not just in graphics, but CPU and data streaming as well. It's led to our largest engine overhaul since Oblivion, with all new technologies powering our first new IP in 25 years, Starfield as well as The Elder Scrolls 6. Like our original partnership, this one is about more than one system or one screen. We share a deep belief in the fundamental power of games and their ability to connect, empower, and bring joy. And a belief we should bring that to everyone, regardless of who you are, where you live, or what you play on, regardless of the screen size, the controller, or your ability to even use one. We can't think of a better group of people to do that with than those at Xbox. We have friendships that go back to the original days, from Phil, to his senior leaders, to developer support. They don't just talk about putting players first, they passionately live it. At Bethesda, we've been lucky enough to create games we love, and have an audience who loves them as much as we do. I have personally been humbled by the many industry honors I've received, as they belong to the entire studio. But one has always stood out to me for a special reason. When I received the Lifetime Achievement Award at GDC, I joked in my acceptance, I wonder how many achievement points this one is worth. At the end of the ceremony, some good friends from Microsoft congratulated me and said they'd find out. A few months later, I was given a code to a game they had created, named after me, and locked to my account. When ran, it unlocks a single achievement. Lifetime, 1000 points. It still sits in my list when I check, and I smile every time. It's been a lifetime, 
but there's more to come and achievements to unlock together. We hope you join us. All the best, Todd. So Todd Howard seems quite excited to be a part of Team Xbox, and that's understanding. He's had close relationships with Xbox for a long time now, and even gave us a tease that Starfield is seeing the biggest engine upgrades since Oblivion. Oh, and of course, The Elder Scrolls 6 will be seeing the same, if not more, upgrades. And hearing about this acquisition has reignited my excitement for the future of Bethesda, and more specifically, Bethesda Game Studios. As for those of you that don't know, I covered Bethesda Game Studios games almost exclusively here on the channel for about eight years, from 2012 up until this year when I finally lost it over the mistakes with Fallout 76 and a few other games published by Bethesda, such as Wolfenstein Youngblood. But know that I will 100% be covering the future of Bethesda-related games again, as this news has reignited that flame. Now, we also got a statement from Pete Hines, VP of PR and Marketing at Bethesda. When you work at a place as long as I've worked at Bethesda, just a month short of 21 years, you see some things. Chief amongst them is change. When I started, Bethesda was not much more than a handful of people. The team working on Morrowind fit in a couple of offices, and there were probably six or seven of us spread across everything else. Bethesda Softworks, our parent company ZeniMax Media, and our internal studio videos now employ thousands of talented people working in publishing offices and development studios around the world. We've gone from one internal studio to many, from a focus on single-player fantasy RPGs to developing massive MMOs, first-person shooters, and everything in between. The world, our industry, and our company has changed a lot in the 34 years since Bethesda Softworks was first founded. Today, it changed again. And I know that brings up questions, but the key point is, we're still Bethesda. We're still working on the same games we were yesterday, made by the same studios we've worked with for years. And those games will be published by us. So why the change? Because it allows us to make even better games going forward. Microsoft is an incredible partner and offers access to resources that will make us a better publisher and developer. We believe that means better games for you to play. Simply put, we believe that change is an important part of getting better. We believe in pushing ourselves to be better, to innovate, to grow. And we have a long history of working with Microsoft. Our companies share many of the same basic principles. We believe in a culture that values passion, quality, collaboration, and innovation. When I think back to the first time we decided to shift from being a PC-only developer and make Morrowind for the original Xbox, it was a move that countless people said would never work. Nobody on consoles wanted a game that big and complex. But Microsoft believed in us, and so did you. And now RPGs of all shapes and sizes are hugely successful on consoles. Yes, it's a big change for us, but after taking a minute to absorb the magnitude of this acquisition, we're going to continue doing what we know and love making great games. We're going to keep trying new things. We're going to take the same passion we've poured into what we do and the passion that our community brings to the things we make and do even better. And soon the conversation will move from this deal to talking about our games again. And I can get back to answering the questions that get us all excited. Tell me more about Deathloop. When can I see more Ghostwire? What's coming in Q4 for the Elder Scrolls Online? I want to see more of the Doom Eternal DLC. When the hell will you tell me about Starfield? I'm excited for those conversations and and look forward to talking to you about all of that and much, much more in the weeks, months, and years ahead. I believe in the people I work with. I believe in the company we have created together. I believe in the communities that we have formed around the games we make. And I believe today's announcement is just the next in a long line of changes in our history that will lead to bigger and better games for all of us. Pete Hines, Senior Vice President of Global Marketing and communications. So, during his statement, he noted that they will be having conversations with us in the coming weeks, months, and years ahead. So what exactly they have to share with us should be quite interesting to see, and he put a lot of emphasis on this acquisition, allowing them to make bigger and better games. I should also note that this news will likely mean that we will start hearing about upcoming games from them sooner than we're used to, as Microsoft announces games years ahead of launch, such as Avowed and Fable, which aren't expected until 2022. And honestly, I think a little more transparency would do some of these studios some good. And of course, this is really good news for Microsoft as well as now they have added a ton of games to their first party lineup. 
which brings up a lot of questions. But the biggest one is on whether or not this means all future Bethesda games will be exclusive to Xbox and PC, and you will not be able to play them on PlayStation anymore. And while we don't have an official statement, and we probably will not be getting one today, I will say that I don't think that all future Bethesda games will be exclusive to Xbox for consoles. Throughout all these statements, they were talking about how they want to bring games to all platforms, no matter the screen, no matter the controller. So it'd be a little bit weird if they said all that and then took away all of these franchises from PlayStation players. And I think Microsoft knows that if they were to make all of these franchises is exclusive to Xbox, that wouldn't go well with a lot of gamers. Now, one thing I do want to note is that something that we could see is any new IPs moving forward could become exclusive to Xbox. So things like Starfield could end up being exclusive to Xbox. But I wouldn't say to expect Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, Doom, or any of those franchises to become exclusive to the Xbox. But it just depends on whether or not they want to be that aggressive with exclusives. One other thing to note is that Pete Hines also mentioned that they will still be the ones publishing their games. So I think that further solidifies the fact that they will be publishing it across all platforms. Now, that's just my two cents. Microsoft could come out and say that all of these games are going to be exclusive from here on out, but I just don't see that happening. This is still a massive win for Microsoft as now they have a ton of first party studios that they can have work on brand new IPs or existing IPs from the Microsoft umbrella. Again, there is a load of potential here. So it'll be interesting to see where this acquisition leads Microsoft and the future of Bethesda moving forward. I am very excited for what the future holds with Bethesda and their franchises, as I think they're in the right hands now with Microsoft. I think this is nothing but a positive change, but I would love to hear what all of you have to say about it. And again, you can expect me to cover future Bethesda titles, especially those from Bethesda Game Studios. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to the Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.